Okay, so I'm gonna get started on the suitcase. My plan for today uh, is to get the base all situated. So I need to buy some steel and then I have an idea on how to get everything straight. But first, uh, I am going to get this little flappy thing out and get it out of the way. That was easy. So in the intro video, I talked about how I wanted to put a metal base on the bottom of this, and I didn't really go into too much detail, and that's mainly because I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I think I figured it out. So these pieces of cardboard represent the steel that I'm gonna use. So I have two feet of two inch flat bar, and then I have three feet of three inch flat bar. So the outside will look something like this. So I have a piece of the two inch there and a piece of the three inch there. And that's because uh, the width of these, uh, these halves are different. So that's why these are different. And then I'll have these pieces on the inside. So that way I'll have something sturdy to mount the, the plate on the back to. So this will be the two inch bar and then these square pieces will be from the three inch. And that'll leave me with this six inch piece that I can use for the base drum pedal mount. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is so I don't have to buy another piece of steel. And then I also want to use these feet. So these four are from like a rack, like a rack like that, but it was like a road case. And my friend, uh, he took these off to put wheels on it. So he gave me these. So I can either use these or I have these, which are from my old table saw. I took these off when I sold it because I thought I'd be able to use them for something. And my first plan was to use two of these on the back. So there'd be one here and then one at the bottom. And then I would use two of these in the front, so again, one there, one on the bottom. So that way I can, you know, adjust it if I needed to. But I think I'm just going to use these. Alright, so before I do any more planning, I'm just going to cut these pieces to length. So here they are all cut up and smoothed over, at least the best that I could. So these will be for this piece, and then this will be for that. So now I just need to mount them to the suitcase. So before I can attach this, I need to trim down these feet right here so that they're flush with this little lip right here. So that way the piece can sit on the feet as well as this part and it'll be nice and flush and have enough support. So to attach the feet, I was going to use these because they take an Allen key because if I was to use a regular bolt, it wouldn't really fit. I mean, it would fit in there, but you couldn't fit a socket in there. So that's why I would use these. And also because these came off an old office chair. So I wanted to use like as much junk as I had lying around without buying anything. But it turns out these are too small. If the steel sat flush on the suitcase, then it would work. But since there's that gap, you can barely see it. Those aren't long enough. So I'm going to use these instead, at least for now, uh, because it's what I have. These are actually from like a hose reel. This is the leftover hardware. So these are long enough. I'll probably end up buying new stuff, but for now I'll use these. That's why you don't drill through fabric. All 
All right, well, that actually works. Now to do the other side. All right, so last night I got the second piece all attached, and this morning I had to come back and add some bolts to the center. Uh, again, I'm gonna change this hardware because it's not right. But on both of the pieces, the steel was bowing out because I guess I've mounted the, the feet past these so that caused it to come out this way. So I just attached one bolt in the center between the feet so that kind of brings it back in and makes it all straight. Also on this end, I must have cut the feet down a little bit too short because this piece was like tilting like that so it wasn't sitting flat on the ground. So I just need to weld on these little spacers here and then it'll sit flat. And then for the bass drum pedal mount, I have the rest of this three inch flat bar. And then I actually needed to use this to kind of prop it up a bit because this wasn't thick enough. And this is the same stuff that I use for the spacers on the feet right there. So I'll just cut this piece off and then weld it on. Uh, but first I'm gonna figure out how long this needs to be and figure that out. All right, so it's these kind of decisions that screw me up. So this side has that bulge right here, right? Uh, so I was thinking about putting the pedal on this side just so, you know, the audience or the viewers would see the, the nice side of the suitcase. But uh, if you tap on it, that side is kind of high pitched, but this side is lower pitched. So do I either make it sound good or do I make it look good? I don't really know. All right, so I'm saying screw it. I'm making it look bad and sound good. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so I'd rather it sound good than look good, so. So I'm ready to weld all these pieces on, and people always complain about how, how bright the welding is in the video. So I tape this lens to my phone, and we'll see how that does. The only reason I'm painting this blue is this is the only paint I have. I don't know if this is gonna work. It must have exploded or something. I stole a cap from a different can, so we're in business. No! Just when I thought the only problem I was going to have was a screwed up cap on a can of spray paint, I realized that I put the mount on the wrong side. The little spacer should be on top, not on the bottom. All right, so I cut it off and re-welded it onto the right side, so this should be good now. I also painted the other ones, and I did that right after I uh, realized I screwed that up. So I didn't really take much time cleaning it up before I painted it because I was like pissed off at myself. So the paint isn't the best, but the whole point of it is to protect it from rusting. And it's going to be on the bottom, so no one's really going to see it, so I could really care less how it looks. And I just know people are gonna say, why are you doing this? You're spending too much time on this. This is ridiculous. It's gonna weigh a million pounds. Uh, but this is how I wanna do it. So if you wanna do it your way, then you go ahead and do it, but I'm gonna do things my way. Uh, as far as the weight goes, I want this to weigh a lot because I want there to be support on the bottom, or not support, but weight on the bottom to, uh, to compensate for the weight of the snare, which will be mounted on the side of the suitcase. So I want as much weight on the bottom as possible. And I didn't really say this before, but I don't want to use any stands. I just want everything mounted on the suitcase. And honestly, I don't know if this is too much weight or not enough weight, but we'll find out.
All right, so there it is. You'll notice I changed the beater. I wanted to use something softer, so at first I was gonna use like a felt beater, but then I remembered I made this thing and this is perfect for this application. As far as the weight and the support of this thing, it's plenty strong and the majority, and the majority of the support comes from the pedal actually. So if I have the cymbals up here mounted up top and then I have the snare on the side, it'll be plenty strong enough to hold it up. I also went in on the inside and where the loose rivets were, where the, uh, the fabric was, I just glopped some hot glue on there so they don't shake around and cause any noise. Uh, I need to take off this piece and do it to these down here because I couldn't get to them. So I'll do that and also I need to figure out a way to uh, reduce the vibrations of the handle. Handle. So here's a better look at the bottom. Sorry I'm using an old rickety tripod so if it's noisy, I'm sorry. But uh, I think this turned out pretty good. Alright, so that's it for this one. In the next video, I'll get all the mounts mounted and figure all that stuff out. I will also cut down the tom and probably I will figure out my cymbal setup. So that'll be in the next video, so be sure to stick around to see that. And as always, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.